Hello. Hey guys, so um, I just wanted to come on here and quick a, a, geez, I can't even talk already, we're starting. So I just wanted to come on here and quick my go-to summer bronzy look right now. And since it's hot, I live in California, uh, we have over 100 degree weather, and this is kind of what I've been doing recently to really like make sure that my makeup's just on there and that it isn't gonna go anywhere. I'm also sorry if you can hear the fan in the back, but <laughs> it's hot and I'm not gonna turn it off, okay? All right, bye. <laughs> All right, so first things first is I'm going to prime and I am using my Too Faced Hangover RX primer. I love this primer because it is moisturizing and it helps. Well, at least I think it does. I think it helps keep my makeup in place, but mainly, honestly, I like it just because it feels so good on the skin and I just really love it. So we're just going to go ahead and prime with this and I like to take it all the way up underneath my eyes, uh, my under eye area because it's nice and crepey there. I'm going to be using some of my Ulta. I actually recently just fell back in love with this foundation. So L'Oreal Infallible. And this is in the shade Sun Beige. gonna pop that on a little palette here and we're gonna get that on the face and blend it out right now this is probably like the best shade match that I have for my skin and this is the Sonia Kashuk blending sponge Okay guys, so foundation is all blended out right now. As you can see, I'm looking very matte, but that is okay, because trust me, my oils will be peeking through and they will make an appearance. So, um, next step is gonna be concealer. Um, yes, I do my foundation. I bounce around a lot. I do my foundation before I do my eyeshadow. I've never been one to really do my eyeshadow first. On very rare occasions, I will. But I'm actually going to take this LA Girl Pro Conceal, High Definition Concealer, and this is what that guy looks like. I am squeezing it till the very last drop. And this is in the shade Creamy Beige, and I'm just going to squeeze some of that out right now. Guys, I own the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and I just... I just can't use it. It does not look good on my eyes at all. It really emphasizes the lines underneath my eyes. I've tried applying it several different ways. It's just too dry, basically. It's too dry of a concealer, which is odd because, I mean, I do have oily skin, but um, this LA Girl concealer has been working far much better for me than the Tarte Shape Tape and it makes me really sad because obviously it's not a cheap concealer <laughs> um, but I mean to each their own. I'm just going to blend this here. This concealer looks way better on my eyes than the Tarte Shape Tape does. It's just it's too dry but it works great as an eyeshadow base well at least the shade that i have isn't super brightening which i'm okay with because sometimes i just like to use a concealer on its own for my like no makeup makeup days um so I'm gonna just go ahead and set my under eye really quickly and the duo that i like to use um, for my under eye, I will actually do a mixture of my MAC Studio Fix Powder, and this is in the shade NC40. 
And then I will also do my NYX banana powder. And this one is very well loved, as you guys can see. <laughs> so I'm going to just do a quick combo of that. And I'll just mix both of them together and set my under eye. If I don't want it super bright, then that's when I will use the MAC powder to help set my under eyes. And let's go ahead and do that. And I just like to tap it out really quickly. Make sure that we're not setting any lines. And this will brighten me up. I'm just going to kind of take a little bit of that MAC powder. I just need something to set my cheek area with. And I'm taking this big, fat, fluffy brush. Because I actually don't want a lot of powder. And I'm just going to set my cheek area and my forehead. Um, let's go ahead and move on to the eyes. So I'm going to be using a few different palettes. Please don't hate me. I know people don't like it when you bounce around from different palette to palette. This is truly honestly what I have been doing. And I love these eyeshadow palettes for different reasons. But um, I, I might jip it a uh, jip. <laughs> I might dip into my Nubian by uh, Juvia's Place, and I freaking love this palette, you guys. I cannot explain to you how much I love Juvia's Place. Those eyeshadows are just phenomenal. Their shimmers are great. And then what I'm actually going to be using for my shimmers are um, a few shades, two shades from the Balm Cosmetics, the uh, Nude Dude Volume 2 palette. And... Um, I'll be using some of the bronze shimmer shades from there. Um, I think what I'm going to do first is, I think I'm gonna dip into my Nubian palette and I am going to take a fluffy brush and I'm gonna take this fluffy brush here. This is, this is my M511 from Morphe, and I'm just going to go ahead and take that. And I'm going to go into, let's see if I can show you guys, this shade right here from the Nubian palette. I love this shade. And I'm going to run that through my crease, basically like all over the place, um, as my transition shade and just fluff that around okay so i've blended that whole color um all over my lid as you guys can see it's it's basically everywhere <laughs> um but this is what i'm going to be using for my transition shade and i think what i'm going to dip into is probably Let's go ahead and I'm going to switch brushes. I am going to use again my BH Cosmetics brush and this is the V5. Again, this is from the Vegan line. And I'm going to go into, I hope you guys can see this. I'm going to go into this shade right here for the palette. Hopefully you guys can see that. So I'm going to dip into that. And I'm just going to pop that onto my outer crease area. And this is honestly truly what I do on a daily basis, guys. So I'm going to just kind of stamp that on there. And this is like my quick, like, I need to get out the door because I'm going to be late for work if I don't leave in five minutes kind of look. But I still want to look put together kind of look. But this is also my everyday bronze summer day tutorial look like <laughs> this is my go-to look basically um so i'm just gonna blend that into the outer corner and just kind of bring it onto my lid as well up into the crease essentially but i'm not gonna bring it up as high and I actually what i like to do too 
especially because my eyes are kind of hooded, I will angle the brush down and blend it into my crease this way. Like, I don't know if you guys can kind of see, but that helps me tremendously when I'm doing my eyeshadow. And sometimes I will angle it up this way as well and blend that into the crease. I'm going to dip into a little bit more of that shade. But yeah, like I'm not even going to cut the crease, nothing. I'm just going to slap those shimmers on there and throw on some eyeliner, guys, and you'll kind of see how this look comes together. It's it's, print, it's one of my favorite things to do here. It's hot. It's hot. Okay. So, honestly, I'm happy with that. I know some of you guys might not be, but two colors sometimes, that's all you need. It doesn't need to get any more difficult than that. So I think I'm going to just stop right there and then we'll just kind of move on to the shimmers. So for the shimmers, sorry, I keep looking down. I have my palettes scattered all over the place. I'm sitting on my living room floor if you guys would like to know, but uh, the two shimmers that I'm going to use are going to be, let me get my little pointer brush. I'm going to be using, I hope you guys can see this. Um, oh, I wonder if the mirror is getting in the way. Let me fold it back. There we go. So I'm going to be using the shade Fit and Faithful. And then I think I might use a little bit of Fabulous for the inner corner for my shimmer shades. But these three right here are going to be the shades that I use. Yeah. And I really like this palette. This purple right here, oh, that's intense. That is a very intense. But I'm going to use these three shimmers right here. Um, and essentially what I like to do is, let me find my brush. I am going to take this little Veramona brush. I don't even know what kind of freaking brush this is, you guys. This is what it looks like. It's all probably janky. But... Uh, this is a brush that I got again from Ipsy. A lot of my brushes are from there. And I'm just going to dip into that shade, the Fit shade, which is the bronzier shade. And I'm just going to kind of put that on the uh, third part of my eye. And you could spray this if you want to. Like, I guess I could spray it a little bit so you guys can see. These sh shadows by themselves, by them Cheryl, <laughs> by themselves are pretty shimmery. Um, there we go. But to be honest, when you're in a rush, like, are you really gonna spray them? I guess if you're that extra, you can. But I'm just gonna kind of run this for the most part throughout my lid. And personally, sometimes myself, I just like to use my fingers, which a lot of the times I will use. Because, as I've said before, nothing works better than your fingers. So there's that. And I'm just going to kind of run it all the way to the inner portion of my eyelid. Uh, just to kind of give it a little bit more of a base for the lighter shadow to blend onto. I think that's fine. And we'll just go into the lighter shade Faithful. And this is a lighter shimmerier one. And do you guys see that? It's so pretty. It's such a pretty gold color. I'm just going to flip my brush around, kind of blend it in. I'm going to use my finger. Because truth be told, guys, if I were doing this, day to day by myself in the bathroom I would probably use my finger so I'm just going to use my finger because ain't nobody got time for that and I will blend this outer edge a little bit more with that same uh, shame, shade that I used before and I'm just using my finger honestly because it has that wet base so it's going to stick a little bit better can you see how pretty these are? There we go. 
And I guess if you wanted to, you could use a little brush to blend it out. And I'm going to just go in with that same brush that I used for the outer corner and just kind of blend that inward just so it's not such a harsh line. I think I'm happy with that. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that fabulous shade. And I'm going to just take my pinky, honestly, and I'm just going to pop that in. Wow. It's a lot more intense than I thought it was going to be. I haven't used that shade in a long time. I'm going to just take a little, this little brush right here from Morphe. It's a M506. And I'm just going to use that to kind of blend that out. Diffuse it just a tiny bit. I don't want it to be super duper intense. I might actually take a little bit of that shade, tap it off a little bit, and pop it on my brow bone. I'm being really messy with this guy. <laughs> Sorry if this is bad. <laughs> but I, this is what I do on a day to day basis. I'm going to just take a clean blending brush and I'm going to use that just to kind of defuse this area right here just in case it's looking a little crazy. Okay. And let's go ahead and hop into the lower lash line. And we're basically going to use the same shades. Um, normally for my lower lash line, I won't really think about it too much. Normally we'll only go with two shades. And that's pretty much about it. I'm going to go into that same darker shade. And I actually like to work backwards. A lot of people like to work with the lightest and then go dark. But I actually like to go in with my dark shade first and then blend it out with the lighter one. So I'm going to take that same shade from my Juvia's Place palette. And that's that guy right there. And it's a beautiful, I can't even describe it to you guys. It's like a nice terracotta color. And it's super nice. And I'm just using this brush. I want to say it's from Sigma. It's like a travel size collection brush set that they had for a while. Um, so I'm just going to blend that shade on my lower lash line here. Bring that in. Really like a blown out brown smoky eye. I will bring that down pretty far. But that's just me though. I'm pretty satisfied with it. So I think I'm going to just go ahead and finish the other eye off camera. And then I will come back to finish the rest of the face. So I'll be right back, okay? Mm -hmm. I went ahead and did liner and brows off of camera. And guys, I just realized something. I don't have any mascara. So um, there's a little story about that. I actually ended up getting a sty in my eye. And this eye specifically was like in the inner corner. Named in Stanley. His stay was short term, but at the end, I ended up throwing out all of my mascaras and um, I basically chopped all of my uh, pencil liners in half just to make sure that everything was sterile. But um, if you guys are curious, we're, we're going to continue. We're going to finish this without mascara. I mean, you guys can probably get the idea of what it looks like with it. Um, so what I ended up using for my liner that you guys see right here, um, I ended up using the Rimmel Scandal Eyes 24 Hour Pencil, and this is in the shade Brown, and it's their water pool, uh, water pool, it's their waterproof Kajal Pencil, and it's a really pretty color. It's really metallic looking. It's one of the few liners that I actually really like to use. If you guys can see that there. So really pretty liner, but um, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and finish up the rest of the face. Oh, and if you guys wanted to know what I use on brows, I use two different brow pencils. I use the NYX uh, Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Espresso, and then I use the Wet n Wild Retractable Brown Pencil in the shade Medium Brown, and that's what I use. I use the Micro Brown to uh, outline my shape, and then I use this one to fill it in, because this one I would run way too quickly through it if I 
did not have the other one. So we're just going to go ahead and bronze and highlight and I guess uh, put some lips on and we'll call it a day. Um, so what I'm going to use is my trusty, my handy dandy, my favorite of all time bronzers, butter bronzer by a physician's formula. The stuff is a shit. It smells like heaven. Like if you're in a tropical paradise, just, uh, it just, this is honestly my favorite part of my routine. So I am just going to go ahead and load that up onto a brush because we want to be bronzy, guys. We want to be a bronzed goddess. So I'm going to use my BH Cosmetics V3 brush and it is an angled brush and it kind of looks like this. really like it to bronze up my face. So just go ahead and do that. I like to start up on my forehead, a little bit on there, and bring it down to my temples, and I'm just going to go ahead and buff that into my cheeks. And I really love this bronzer, and I'm going to go ahead and put it on the apples of my cheeks as well, just because I um, don't really like using blush. I mean, I do have some, but a lot of the times I end up just using bronzer and we're just gonna go in with this bronzer guys it blends out so nicely and it has such a beautiful sheen to it too that um, it almost adds like a natural glow and a natural highlight on its own but of course we're gonna go in with the highlight as well because we want to be a bronze guys so I'm gonna go ahead and add that to my jawline and pretty much about it I'll just add it to the perimeter of our face the contour either guys I mean I I could if I really wanted to but that's on like special occasion days I'm literally gonna go to Target after this and um, probably pick up some Dutch Brothers if you're from my area and if you know Dutch Brothers sound off down below because that place is bomb it's so good my favorite drink there is a Bob Marley. I love bananas and chocolate, like any mixture like that together. Red Robin Nana Nana Moo Moo Shake is my absolute favorite. So, um, yeah, that's that's just a little bit of insight into my <laughs> my addiction to uh, sugar. It's really bad, you guys. I have the largest sweet tooth in the history of ever. Fix my eyebrows right now because I don't use brow gel either. <gasps> oh my god. So there we go. I probably should invest in some brow gel though because for those guys my brows be playing me sometimes and it's it's bad. I'm thinking over here that I'm looking cute and I look into the mirror and my brows are acting a fool. So <laughs> I'm gonna just take a little bit Actually, there's nothing on the brush at this point. I'm just going in back again in those areas. Take some onto the cheek. This is the bronzing brush that I used earlier. There we go. And I'm going to go in and highlight, guys. So what I'm going to use is, again, one of my other favorites. It's the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder, and this is in Golden Flower Crown, and it's absolutely beautiful. Look at how pretty that is. Isn't that gorgeous? It's so beautiful. It's quickly become one of my favorites. So you guys know before I used to, I mean, I still use it, don't get me wrong, but now that it's summer, like, this is all I've been using. I hope you guys can see that. How pretty it is so I'm gonna take that on a brush and the brush I'm gonna be using to highlight is my morphe m200 I think that's what it is um, because it's very faded I've had this for a long time and I'm gonna just go ahead and highlight with that I'm gonna take it right here on the tops of my cheekbones and sometimes if that's too much I will dust some of it off and put that right on my cheekbones. And yes, I do have texture, and no, I don't care. <laughs> I'm good, you guys. Um, so, I'm gonna highlight a little bit more, and no, I know it seems like a lot, but uh, this is just what I like to do, my routine. 
So I'm going to just go ahead and spray my face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And I just recently picked this up and I'm so obsessed with it, you guys. It's so good. And just the fact that it's a continuous mist, it's just, it works so great. So let's just go ahead and spray ourselves. It feels so good. I know it seems like a lot, but honestly, the mist is so fine. Like, I, re I really can't feel it on my face. Ow! Hopefully that doesn't get on the lens. <laughs> but let's just go ahead and fan ourselves. I'm going to use the cover sleeve to my new dude palette. And we'll just kind of dry off our face. Happen, but I think we're getting close. It's also really hot, so I mean, this is going to dry in like 2.5 seconds anyways. So, um... Let's get a little bit more of that highlight. I just want to tap most of it off. And just get it to the very top. Just the very tippy top. Right there. Setting mist really just makes everything look like skin. It's such a gorgeous product. And we have a Morphe store in our hometown now. So I can actually go in and pick this up whenever I need to and it just makes me so happy because I hate waiting for products to come in through the mail. I mean I love it. It's a love-hate relationship because you have to wait but when you get it and you get to open it and it's all nice so I love that. Um, so let me just again blend this in one more time. I'm looking like a greased chicken and I love it. So. Yeah, that, that Morphe setting mist just freaking works wonders, you guys. If you get a chance to pick it up, I highly, highly recommend it. Um, what I'm going to do to further kind of set my makeup in place, I'm actually going to take this brush here, and this is the Morphe MB4, and it's kind of like a flat, dense packing brush. Um, but I actually like to go over my makeup one last time after I missed it with either my sponge or this brush right here. So um, my sponge is a little dirty right now. I guess I could use it, but I, I don't really want to. So I'm gonna just go in and push this brush into my skin. All right, guys, so we're almost done here. Um, uh, last thing that we're gonna do is lips, and I just recently discovered my favorite nude lip liner, finally. My favorite combo right now. This is the best that I've found because I, I've tried looking for a nude and they, they just don't look good on me, guys. <laughs> so um, the lip liner that I'm talking about is actually by Milani and it's their color statement lip liner. And um, it is in the color Spice and this is what it looks like. I have my other product in here. Um, really, really nice lip liner, you guys. It is beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and swatch it. That's the eyeliner that I used earlier, and then that's the Milani lip liner. It's a beautiful color, guys. So we're just gonna go ahead and use that to line our lips. And just go ahead and do this here. All right, so lips are lined, and um, we are going to go ahead and put a gloss on top of this. And what I'm going to be using is my Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Gloss. And this is in Birthday Babe. And it's a pretty clear, well, it's pink. So let me show you guys what it looks like first. Uh, I've had this for a really long time, but it's one of my favorites. Um, that's what it looks like right there. And it's a really pretty color. So I'm gonna just go ahead and put that on my lips. And it'll further kind of blend in that liner. Just kidding. <laughs> so yeah, guys, this is a look. I hope you guys enjoy it. This is one of my go-to, like, if I need to look good and I don't want to be playing no games about what my face is going to look like, this is what I will do. And it's been working out pretty well for me. This will last anywhere from, like, Mm, I, depending on what I'm doing, eight to ten hours. I could probably make it last a lot longer if I wanted to, really. But um, honestly, this is 
I thought I had lipstick on my teeth. <laughs> this is my go-to look right now. Um, I love it. It's perfect for summer in my opinion. So, um, I guess this is it and I will see you guys next time. I'll talk to you later. Bye.